It's always an experience when you attend election rallies because then you get to hear what politicians from both sides say about each other. But frankly, I hate the word politician. I cringe whenever people say that I'm a politician. Maybe it's because the word has become synonymous with hypocrisy. Saying one thing and doing another. But I stand by what I said. We will not engage in below the belt politics. I said yesterday, I said the last rally, and I'll repeat it today. The David Ong affair is off the table. I think one of our speakers may have cracked a joke about it at our last rally. I've told my colleagues in no uncertain terms, cut it out. You did not hear any of the speakers mention the David Ong affair tonight. And it'll stay that way for the rest of the campaign. Now then, let me turn the question to Mr. Lee Shen Long. Will he and his colleagues now honor Mr. Thaman's promise and stop the gutter politics and focus on issues that really matter the voters here in Bukit Batok? But I sometimes think that it's like talking to a wall. This kind of behavior seems to be baked into the PAP's DNA. Whenever the opposition talks about issues like withholding our CPF money, the non-transparency of GIC and Tomasic Holdings, the high cost of living, the PAP knows it's hard to defend these policies. But that's the PAP. They don't tell you how they can be better than their opponents. They tell you how bad the opposition is by running smear campaigns so that you will vote for the PAP by default. They don't consider their own hypocrisy. Let me cite you a couple of examples. The first one. Ms. Grace Fu tried to paint us as racist. Find me, ladies and gentlemen, find me anywhere the SDP has said that is remotely racist. It's not hard to do in this day and age. Do a search on the internet and tell us if we have said anything racist. And yet, graceful without feeling even a bit paise, <laughs> ignored her own party's <laughs> statements, racist statements. You remember Chu Wee Kiang? He's in jail now, I think. He said the little India was hey chi chi because there were so many Indians there. Another PAP member said that a busload of kindergarten, kindergarten Malay students resemble terrorist trainees. More recently, PAP MP Denise Poir had to apologize because she said, made some disparaging remarks about foreign workers in Little India. Even Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, the late Lee Kuan Yew, made disparaging remarks about the Malays for which he had to apologize. And yet, Grace Wu can stand there with a straight face and insinuate that SDP is racist. Disgraceful! Example 2. Halima Yako said that Singaporeans are Asian and we respect our elders. But then so Singapore is about the only Asian country that continues to make our elderly people work to clean tables and wash toilets. I've had friends and relatives visit from overseas and I go out to the hawker centers to eat with them. And they express shock when they see our amas and akongs have to continue to toil in such back-breaking jobs just to eke out a living. Respect our elders? Really? No. Yesterday, Mr. Lee Shen Long visited the town and used the occasion to question my character. I want to say this. Until tonight, I have never, never brought up the issue of what his sister, Dr. Lee Whaling, said about him. You can search for it online or anywhere else. 
but you won't find anything I said about the incident because I never made any. I had ample opportunity to attack him on this, but I did not. And it would have been a very potent attack because this is not your political opponent saying it. It is your own flesh and blood making these statements about you. Now, I want you all to imagine if it had been my sister saying these things about me, what do you think would have happened? Do you think that the PAP would have gone to town with this? Do you not think that all the newspapers, Channel 5, Channel 8, Channel News Asia, would all have been running this news with the reporters camped outside my house, camped outside my sister's house for days and weeks, trying to get comments to add fuel to the fire, and then interview SDP members, interview my friends, interview my former classmates, interview my teachers to prolong the saga and make sure that every man and woman, boy and girl in Singapore knew about the matter. I bring up this incident because I want to show you that even though I had the perfect opportunity, I refrain from using Dr. Lee Wei Ling's the dispute with a brother because that's not the kind of politics that I want to engage in. And even though I did not attack Mr. Lee, he has no hesitation in continuing to disparage me. I may not agree with his policies or his political ideas, but I would not attack him on such a personal level. You say that the SDP is racist when your own members, leaders, make racist remarks. You say that I don't respect the elders when you treat our elderly people in such a heartless and disgraceful manner and you attack my character. Please, my fellow Singaporeans, please don't fall for it. No one is as good as the PSP says they are. No one is as bad as the PAP says he is. We are all human beings. We have our weaknesses and we have our strengths. We all make mistakes, but please, let's not glorify ourselves and demonize our opponents for our own political gain. <laughs>